Hi and welcome to another video introduction uh, on the MITEI or the Motorsport Electronics Integrated Tuning Environment. This video is aimed to give uh, you a brief idea of, of, of what the system does, how to use it, uh, what the varying inputs and outputs and features and so on mean. It's not going to cover uh, advanced stuff like the actual tuning and, and setting up and mapping, it's more an overview. Okay. So once the MITEI is installed, uh, this is a sort of screen and you're connected to the ECU. This is the sort of screen you're going to get when you launch the Mighty. And you can see it's connected because we have the green tick down here. And in this box we can choose the, the COM port as well. So with the, with the Mighty connected up, one of the first things we can do is, on the screen here, we have the, the default tabs that come shipped with the Mighty. Now these will change with later versions of the Mighty as we add different features and so on. And we find a layout that suits tuners on average. But of course it's fully customizable. So the first thing to note is with any window that's on the screen, you have the basic Windows usage features. You can go into the left corner here, drag it around. You can resize it by dragging any of the bars. And you can close it with the X here as well. Also, any layout changes you make on a, on a view on, on this screen is saved as a tab. And you can currently see that we are in the Start tab. OK, so if we had any features here, anything we want to see when we first connect, this would be the place to put it. And on this tab we can see that there's a couple of drivers open. Now drivers are configuration areas. They're where we can set control systems for different areas of control on the ECU. Here we have the engine driver and the startup driver. Uh, on the engine driver here we've got some basic features, what trigger pattern we're going to use for our cranking, some, some inputs and outputs, some selecting, some, some fueling mode selections, some basic setup stuff, engine size, injector size, reference pressure, injectors and so on. And this is all used as part of the VE formula for calculating the fuel flow. So the first thing to note, of course, is the tabs. This is the interactive level of the Mighty that you can customise it to how you see fit. Now, we have some basic tabs set up, and as I've said before, these will change over time. Uh, with as, as, as we produce new versions of the Mighty, we'll, we'll change the default tab layouts. But, uh, but for now, these are the standard default tabs we have, and they've been more than enough for our basic tuning and so on. So if we click on, for example, sensor calibrations, that will load the sensor calibrations tab. It closes all the other tabs down and loads up all of the widgets involved in sensor calibrations. And as you can see here, we have some what we call digital readout widgets, DROs at the top. We have some 1D table views, uh, and these relate an input to an output. Uh, we can have the throttle position, the manifold pressure, the coolant, and the IAT. And as we've said, we're in the sensor calibrations tab. So these HRT tables, or human representation tables as we call them, they translate the input, which is an ADC, a number which goes from 0 at 0 volts to 65535 at 5 volts, and it translates it into a percentage or an output, whatever we want it to be. So you can see here the coolant calibration table. You can see here the TPS. We only need to use two fields here. We're at, at 6,000 raw, we're at zero TPS, and above 47,840, we're at 100% TPS. We won't go we're going to more details about how each of these widgets work later, but that gives you an overview of, uh, of this screen here. We have our live mapping screen. And this again now shows uh, some widgets at the top here, some DROs, which of course are all movable. And if we go back to the sensor calibration tab and then back to the live mapping tab, you'll see that indeed that box has stayed where we left it. And it will also stay where we left it even when we close the application and reopen the application. We can see here we have a 2D table. This is our VE base table, uh, which is the base VE of the engine. This is a turbocharged MX5 map we have up in front of us here. And we can view it in a grid view or a 3D view, but again, We'll go through more details on the individual widgets later. And then we have the idle screen, uh, which doesn't have much in it at the moment. And of course, if we want to, we can add a new tab. We just click Add New. We type in Acceleration. Say we're going to work on Acceleration. And it creates a new tab. We then click on a new tab, and you'll see that it's blank. Now, let's say that what we're interested in here, let's say we're working on the acceleration enrichment part of, of the tuning of the ECU. We're going to want to, first of all, we're going to need to display some data, some inputs and some outputs. So we might want, for example, have the RPM. So we look up here on the left of this tree view, which contains all of the entities that the ECU uses for working with. Now, we will be reorganizing this to make it a bit more user-friendly. Um, but for now, if we double-click on RPM, it places an RPM box. We could place a throttle box as well to show a TPS percent. We could, of course, show the raw value coming in from the ADC sensor. There's the raw value coming in. And there is the translated after the HRT. There is the value afterwards. 
We might want to show the acceleration delta or the rate of change of the accelerate of the uh, of the throttle of the throttle pole. Um, and of course, on this on this test rig here, we don't have any input, so it's just it's just going to stay static. And of course, we're going to want to bring up the driver, the configuration for acceleration enrichment, which is down here under system. It will be making its way to its own little driver section, and we're going to pop that there like that and resize this to to our needs. Um, of course, acceleration enrichment has a couple of features. It needs to have uh, the a clamp, which which tails off based on engine speed, so you don't apply so much acceleration enrichment. And also, we also have another table for acceleration enrichment, which is the delta trimming. So based on how fast the throttle opens, we multiply the V by a certain amount to give us that extra square of fuel. And you can see we now have all those tables open that we want to work with for acceleration trimming. So that gives you an idea of how to lay out a tab so that you can work with it. And of course, if we go to idle, as I said, and then go back, the data is still there. So we can always go forward and backwards, use our tabs, and move between tabs. The next thing in regards to using the Mighty, of course, is the initial startup. Now, when you connect, for example, a plug and play ECU, you need to load a base map into the ECU. Now, we, although we will always try and supply the ECU preloaded, we can never guarantee that's the case, and we always recommend that you go through and check stuff anyway. So. Plugging our ECU into our car, we connect up to the ECU, we run our Mighty, we see we get our green ticks, we know everything's alive, and one of the first things to do is just to check the sensor calibrations. Is the is the coolant temperature reading correctly? Is the intake temperature reading correctly? Are we getting the right uh, throttle position when we move the throttle, if applicable? Is the manifold pressure reporting properly? Is the battery voltage reporting properly? Um, and of course, if we crank the engine over, are we getting an RPM? Are we losing synchronization? And so on. But before we go ahead and run the engine, what we need to check is some basic settings in the engine driver. Now, this one's obviously set for an MX-5. Uh, and here we can see the only real things that you'll need to change from our base map to get you up and running. You don't need to worry about the injection angle or the number of cylinders, of course. But you might have the 1600 or the 1800 engine, and you might have a different injector size. So if we supply you an 1800 turbo base map, we assume you're running the 425cc RX8 injectors. Of course, if you're not, you'll need to tap in the different injector flow rate down there. Um, with that being said, we can then look at the live mapping screen, and again, you know, the map that we give you will be pretty good. It should get the car running. It should get it running well enough, anyway, to be able to get you to get be able to at least get the car warm and idling, and may even drive very well as well. But as we say, we do recommend that you take it to get it rolling around tuned thereafter. So once you've gone ahead, okay. So this concludes our brief overview of the Mighty. Myself and Alex will be putting out more videos that detail individual features, how to use the different widgets more de in, in a more detailed view, and also what some of the drivers actually do uh, on an ECU level. But for now, that gives a general idea of what the software looks like and what you can expect from it in the future. Cheers. Certain definitions, this one won't work with this file. So let's try the other one. I'm just trying to find if we've got one that actually works with this definition. No, we don't.